I'm Rhonda with Over the Hill Adventures and thank you for joining me today on this adventure. Usually Stan and I are off on uh, hitting the road, but we got a new rig. And if you guys have been following our journey, we just picked up a brand new 2024 Grand Design Influence 2903 RL and we love it. We just did our shakedown trip actually to my mom and dad's in Las Vegas. We mooch docked, we stayed on their property. So it was our first, very, very first trip. We're new to fifth wheeling and everything's new in there. And what's driving me absolutely crazy is the unorganization. Sometimes it takes a little while to figure out what you need, what you need organized. And today I thought it might be fun to go to Dollar Tree and see what we can find. There are a few things that I kept from the last few organization videos that I had for our Imagine 2500 RL. We also got a few things from Ross. My mom and I went shopping, picked up a few things there. Great place to get some organization bins. We picked up some things for the inside of the fridge and freezer. So we're gonna, I'll show you those. I like to get a few things for the pantry, a few things maybe more for the drawers to keep a little more organization. And um, not a lot of wall space in there. I used a lot of command hooks in our old trailer, but I honestly don't think I'm gonna be using a lot of that. I do need something to hold up my broom. I have that Hamco collapsible telescoping broom. Um, I wanna have something to hold up my Swiffer wet mop. I tend to use that. Um, you can break it apart and then, you know, it, it can go into this small little cabinet that we have. But I'm super excited. Um, let's go see. We're here. And you know what the funny thing is? The Dollar Tree actually isn't a dollar anymore. It's a dollar twenty-five. But the nice thing is it's still not going to break the bank if something doesn't work out. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. You just don't know what you're gonna find. I don't know exactly what I need still, but what the heck, let's go check it out. Okay, the first thing I see might not be for storage, but it's decoration, decorative, and I love it. I wanted to do these colors in there, so I've got some placements. They're going in the cart. I'm gonna pick up some fragrance sachets. I'm not gonna burn a candle in there, but these will be great. Dollar Tree offers a lot of these collapsible storage containers. So they work in closets, they'll work in pantries. Not super sturdy, but I found these. And these will be perfect for the little cabinets, maybe even like socks and undergarments. A few of those are going in the cart too. I'm not a big fan of these velvety coat hangers because it's actually harder for me to get the clothes off and maybe that's the point is having them not fall off while you're traveling but this is a great place for some cheap lightweight coat hangers they're going in the cart so I think we'll pick up a couple of these collapsible storage bins you just never know they might they're a little smaller so they're a little more sturdy than the bigger ones so we'll see if we can use them in the pantry or the closet nesting measuring cup set. I think I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get these for the medicine cabinet. I'm hoping they'll fit. I forgot to bring a measuring tape. So I wasn't sure whether to get this. I need a place to store like the cords and stuff. So these, I love these little flex trays or these guys. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the flex trays. And then I will get some of these for the drawers. And they have the little pads on the end so they won't slide around. They have these great veggie holders. These are expensive. I'm gonna give it a try. I kind of bought myself a big one at Ross for the lettuce. I think I'm gonna get these ones for the berries. So very good, berry storage. So I was about to head out and I headed down the stationary aisle and I'm finding, oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys get excited about this stuff, but it's crazy. So look how cute. These are felt, just little desk trays. Look how cute these are. Fancy. 
got the, the big felt trays. So cute. I decided I'm gonna pick this little um, bag up. It's actually an under the bed storage. It's actually really small, I thought it was bigger, but it's gonna be perfect for sheets. spend 60 bucks at the Dollar Tree. But now that it's $1.25, it's not too hard to do. So let's go back to the RV and see what we can make of all this stuff. Well, it's the day after we went to the Dollar General. I've laid everything out. And oh my gosh, I don't know if I have enough cabinet space for all these things, but we're going to find out. What we don't use, we'll take back. So let's see if we can get started. I'll show you here what we got. So for the most part, yes, storage. Um, I'm planning on doing some. I did actually go to another Dollar General today and I found it under the bed storage bag a big one i think what i have planned for this is we're going to put in a couple extra jackets some big jackets that i don't use and of course we picked this up yesterday this will be for some sheets and um collapsible storage containers i want to put these in the bathroom and found this today too thought oh that's cool for cans and whatnot here's the pantry this I had from our 2500RL. I used that for our onions or you know produce and veggies and um, it kept them nice and separated and I, and I think I'll keep it in here. I like it. But look at this space. We've got all this room up here. Big shelf here. Big shelf here. Big shelf here. That one's kind of spoken for. Sort of, kind of. Um, I don't, I've never really liked these bins, but they might be here to stay. We shall see. There's all this space down here that we need to fill. Oh, everything's starting to get filled. <laughs> what am I talking about? So things that were in cabinets, I just wasn't sure. I kind of kept them in these bins here. These actually had gotten at Home Depot. Um, I think they were th three bucks and they're just kind of pliable bendable um, so this kind of like outdoor stuff the dog stuff just sitting here thinking about what we should start on first and I think we'll tackle the pantry I've taken everything out of the pantry and I'm kind of a germaphobe so make sure you clean your items before you put them away I'm gonna get the Lysol and any of the items that are like cloth I'm going to spray them with the Lysol I definitely kind of want to prove to myself that I can do this without spending a pretty penny. We were raising kids. My husband worked full time, of course, and then I was home with the kids and had a part time job. So my other job would be to cut coupons. That was actually before digital coupons. So I would try to make his dollar stretch, you know? So it's always kind of been a, a challenge for me, and I actually like it. Okay, well, tell me what you think. I'm actually super surprised because I used, um, well, the nice thing about buying extra things is you don't really know where you're gonna use it. And um, I was glad I had extra bins because look, I feel like it looks organized. All right, so I used these, you know, to kind of separate the canned goods, fruits, meat, um, veggies in the back those are the ones I already had so there's like rice and then soups and stuff and then these were two pack so they're the little slender bins and the rubber kind of pliable so you can wipe them clean if anything gets you know spilled so these kind of get a little yucky on the bottom so I wanted to make sure they were in something so I could hold all the the sprays and then these are just little Little hot sauces, things like that. These are packets and they're in one back there. And um, I kind of decided to put this here to cover up the travel fly, even though it looks like it has ears, but once my bananas are in here and fruit, veggies, and then, you know, well, veggies down here, fruit up here, that should look okay. And um, I do have to go shopping. So I'm actually surprised that so much stuff fit. So I think we're gonna put like, you know, um, 
I don't know, we could put some wine up here. We'll figure that out a little bit. So I swapped this one out. This was up here at the top, just to make it look a little more uniform. This one didn't, um, I'm just gonna keep like a little mixer in it, little koozies and stuff. Um, they'll sit up there. Uh, that way it just looks a little more uniform. This was an old bin I had, so it, the width fit in a particular cabinet in the Grand Design Imagine, but we'll find space for it. I had had these little rubber, tiny bins and I put my teas in there and then the trivia's in there. Uh, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them, but they line up perfectly right there. I was thinking about putting them in this one, but um, they fit perfectly right there. And then that way everything's kind of, kind of stuck together. It's not gonna slide around. One down, bathroom to go, fridge to go. So remember we picked up these little felt desk trays? Um, I had a spot in mind and I, I think it's gonna work perfectly. So I think I'm gonna set them right up there. Cause already keys, there's remotes, there's things just hanging out. Now let's see if they slide. Actually let's steal this one. We'll throw that up there. We'll cut another one. And uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. So such a strange spot, right? So I think these are gonna be perfect. I know for an RV, this refrigerator is huge. Oh my gosh, I'm not used to this much space. Oh, it's already chirping at me. So let's, because it's so big, I can't, you know, allow things to roll around or fall out or fall over and break. So we got these little bins. These actually I showed you were from Ross. So those were five bucks each, but I've got this, so I think this is gonna work out really good. It's from the Dollar Tree. I think I picked this one up today. I'm not sure if I got it yesterday, but I think at the other Dollar Tree, they had a better supply. I was a little surprised because the new one didn't have as much stuff. So this clips under one of the shelves and, and locks in. They showed berries. I'm not sure I would want berries in it because it might drip, but look at this thing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then it just pops off if I want, but it's just a little extra storage space. And I can put that kind of over there if I want. Pretty cool. So we're under the sink. This is a little bit of a mess. Um, I had bought this at the Dollar Tree years ago and actually found another one. So we're gonna go ahead and it's just simple. And you know what, when you put cleaning supplies in these, that way if anything spills, you don't have anything to worry about. It's gonna be in the bucket. And trust me, that has happened to me before. Anytime you can buy things that nest, win. That is a win. We're gonna fill these with water. They have the lids. So that those will be great. These, these are my ice makers. Um, and heck, for a buck, we picked up a little butter container. So we need to put some baskets in the medicine cabinet so that doesn't happen. That is a mess. All right, let's see what we can do. I was able to fit three of them in here. They are, they fit great right here. They fit snug over here. We'll put this one and then this was the one we bought that had the little gray bottom and the little feet on the bottom so they doesn't slide. And I uh, was able to put kind of some of the smaller little things in there, little medications. This has a lot of our shaving creams, sunscreen, things like that. That's um, Because the sides are a little slanted, things tend to kind of pop over, but they're not going anywhere. I'm not worried about that. It's not glass or anything. Uh, this worked good. That's not going anywhere. Odds and end things here. And actually, this little guy here is just my little sewing kit. So, there's a sewing kit in there, just in case. And uh, I will put my, my makeup bag right here. And then this was not a Dollar Tree thing, although I've seen some cute things that they have there that are open, that have the tops like that. But I wanna say I got that at Walmart or Dollar General. But there you go. Here, we put one of those in those boxes we bought, the little box, the pop-up box, I think we'll throw the toilet paper in there, pop that in there, it fits perfect. Also used the other one I bought, that's like under the sink in the kitchen, 
and just putting that in there fits perfectly next to this is our first aid and medications and things like that so it fits perfectly in there and there again if it spills it's gonna go into the bucket it's been a few days and I actually did make one more trip to the Dollar Tree to pick up some of those soft-sided blue little bins and they fit perfectly on the side of the bed. I'm going to use them for extra sheets, for cords, whatever we need. I also picked up a couple little blue, the smaller soft-sided ones and then the, a, a Kleenex box fits perfect. We can also there again, put like our phone cords and things in there, whatever we want on top of the nightstands. I did buy a few more bins that go above the bar and they're empty right now. I'm sure we'll fill them up eventually, but it's so nice just to have the space and especially that there's glass right there. I figured a soft-sided bin is perfect. Thank you guys for joining me today. It was actually super fun. Uh, it was exhausting to be honest, but so fun. And I had no idea what I was gonna need and it all worked out and I needed a little bit more. So thank you for joining us today. If you found value in this, if you guys would do me a big favor, just give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell if you wanna be notified of other videos that we have. We are gonna be starting our adventures here really soon. Again, we're gonna be on the road. We're gonna be hitting California. We're going to be hitting Moab in, in Utah, Kanab, Utah, Colorado, so many things on the horizon. So we hope you guys would follow us. If you are new to our channel, thank you for being here. You can go back and you can watch all our adventures. We are going on season seven. We do seasons uh, twice a year. So we have a fall and a spring season. And um, we just thank you guys so much for joining us. Well, God bless until the next time.